Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Non-Cooperators. We are continuing with some more Resident Evil Degeneration, and Leon is just basically looking like a badass at this point, being like, Hey, sup? So there's four people, there's a girl in the storage room, guy's losing a lot of blood, he needs some medical supplies, it's in the infirmary downstairs. Where we um where we were I oh shit it was like a silver necklace or something like that I don't even know, I'm not too sure what I what, what I saw, okay so anyway oh wait a minute let me uh pause and just look around oh god there's treasure right straight ahead when I leave when I leave this room yeah okay so back 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 uh, we can't leave through the exit the exit door's locked so when I leave this room just go straight and there'll be some treasure. I'll just kick the door open, being like, okay, guys, fend for yourselves. Can I reload while running? No, I gotta, I gotta stand still while and then reload. A brooch, yet again. Um, how, where am I going again? I know I'm going back downstairs, but how do I go back downstairs? Okay, that way, okay. No, 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 Okay, I just want to, I just want to take a look. I just want to take a look around. I just want to take a look around. I just want to talk to him. I'm just going to talk to him. I'm not going to talk to you, Hunnigan. I made it, Hunnigan. I made contact with the survivors. Yay. Fantastic news, Leon. I'm making the call for extraction. No! Wait, Hunnigan! I can't leave yet. One of the survivors is badly wounded and needs immediate medical attention. But Leon... No buts! I'm gonna walk around this place for over an hour or two to look for some medical supplies when it can clearly only... Like, we can't wait over, we can't wait five minutes, uh, for a helicopter to rope, to rope in medical supplies immediately to get this person some help right now, this very second. I need to walk around this place for five goddamn hours to look for the medical supplies. It's much, it's, it's the only way, so he'll survive. Like, are you on crack, Leon? I mean, granted, the guy was actually, uh, apparently this is a myth. I don't think it's true, though. But apparently that Leon was actually high during the Res Resident Evil 2 uh, segment. Like, he was, he, was on, he was on some drugs. I, like I said, it's a myth, it's a rumor, it's, not, it's probably not real. But he was, um, uh, he was on some drugs. Like, he was either marijuana, maybe. Nothing, something like, nothing, something to get him relaxed and everything. And I could be, like I said, I could be entirely wrong. I mean, he probably wasn't on, like, PCP, because he would have put him, like, holy shit, this stuff is really kicking in. I'm seeing some fucking zombies and some weird-ass shit. Like, he just took something to calm him down, I think. Which is why he could have been, like, so good at what he did um, uh, back then. But, like I said, it was just a rumor, just a myth, or just bullshit. Which I'm pretty sure it probably is bullshit, but it's just fun to just, you know, imagine. And the merchant left. God damn. Oh, no, the merchant didn't leave. He's in that area. Okay. I don't know where to go. I think I need to go through that door, but that door's red, or that door, but that but that door's red, so I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go, guys. And this thing's not going back on my ear. God damn it. Come on. There we go. I know I need better headphones. Oh, Jesus. Um, hi. Thank you for opening the door. So I can just get like a nice little pot shot on you. Stop moving, Leon! Seriously. The one drug he's gonna be taking at this in this game is some diazepam. Diazepam makes it makes you uh, very s steady and calm. In Res uh, Resident Evil, my God, Metal Gear Solid, uh, you have used the key. Okay. In Metal Gear Solid, um, they use diazepam to when you're in a um, when you're a sniper. They used uh, they use diazepam to as a mu as a muscle relaxer, so you're not shaking. When you're holding the holding the rifle or anything like that, so you do steady shots. Oh shit! Oh yeah, that's definitely a t that's definitely like a tire. <laughs> really? <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let me um. I'm I'm get the shotgun. Get the shotgun. Get the shotgun. I'm getting the shotgun. I am getting the shotgun. The shotgun is equipped, and I am. Oh Christ! Shoot. Shit. I don't think there's really too much for me to do, because like I said, this game is very difficult. This reminds me of the Tyrant fight in Resident Evil uh, 1. The first fight, when you, um... Right after he kills... Spoiler alert. Right after, right after the Tyrant. Holy shit. Kills 
Tyrant X kills, again, spoiler alert, kills Nemesis, uh, Wesker. And I was about to say, I was about to say, uh, um, what's his face? I don't even know anymore. Jesus. I'm so, I'm so out of it right now. Holy, see, he's got a thousand bucks. Once again, I'm going to say this again. That's still not an, uh, uh don't, that, a thousand bucks. Maybe a thousand dollars in singles might fill up the case just like that. Maybe a thousand in singles. Maybe. Maybe a small, maybe a small case. I don't know, because, because even a thousand dollars, I mean, even a hundred dollars, it's like a small stack, if you really think about it. Okay, let me, uh, mix, I want to mix some stuff. Increases ma- oh, you can't mix. Oh, that kind of sucks. So this only gives, wait, examine, uh, par restores partial health, while the yellow ones, uh, restore full health. Okay, so, you know, information that we need, uh, you know, need to know base. Let's actually go down here and explore some more shit that we have not explored. So, at least we're getting some full, uh, some fullness of this actual game. At least I hope so. And we open the underground network. Back to this BS. We got some more shotgun shells. And I think that door cannot be opened. Yeah, door appears to be locked from the other side, and it won't budge. Let me pull out my pistol, because I don't want to waste any more shells. And we're back. Let me talk to the merchant dude, so we can uh, upgrade... I guess we can upgrade the pistol, or the shotgun, I don't know. Just gotta find out where... I just gotta remember where he is, and he's right there, okay. So... That... And this way, we are going this way to the merchant, and... Like I said, the guy's like in there being like, You seen that fucker just ran right by? He reminds me of that cat, you know that cat where his eyes are like this? Like, no, I haven't seen your PCP, but have you seen that fucking dragon in the kitchen? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so... What the cell, what the cell, what the cell? I don't know. What should we sell? I want to buy this, but I don't think it's such the best idea to buy that at such a short notice. I think we should start tuning up all of our shit. I'm going to turn up more of the shit. I'm going to make it more faster and smarter and stronger. It is going to be my gun on steroids. My pistol is now fully upgraded. I have now got the pistol, oh, and I got 10 points. Look at you, oh, you're going down there. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why I just start speaking in a German accent. Let's get an extra large, ar extra large case. Is there another, uh, no, there's nothing else. Okay, all right, so we got an extra large case. We got 700 bucks uh, to buy whatever, I guess, I don't know. Um, let's do some more tune-ups, I guess, since there's really nothing else for us to do. Obviously, let's do the shotgun. Uh, wow, that increased from, from like, yeah, 180 to 400. <whistles> wow. <laughs> I mean, granted, it's the last upgrade to do. Still pretty good, though. All right. So, we're good. I think. I mean, we could upgrade the, um, our other pistol, but what's, like, what's the real point of that? Just saying, like, oh, I want to complete this game by simply just having everything fully upgraded. What's the fucking point? I mean, there's really, like, no... There's really no big Jigamundo benefit. Maybe an achievement, which, in all honesty, yes, I am an achievement whore. Or back when, you know, achievements was a thing, and back in the Xbox 360, I was... As people said I was an achievement whore, I was like, no, 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 no. I'm an achievement hunter. Because I actually did do some walkthroughs and some guides and everything. I did a full walkthrough guide on um, uh, Kane and Lynch 2 de uh, Dog Days. On how to get like some achieve on like how to get the achievements and everything, and even how to get like uh, some of the hard achievements that was on online. I even hosted a couple of games. This was a long time ago. Great, fucking great. I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say you can't dodge. What? What the hell? I pressed. First off, I pressed up. Second off, it's a little steam. He's like, oh Jesus. All right, let me do this one more time. Down. Eh. Up. And that's it. You know, you can, in all honesty, you can actually cover your jet. You can cover your face with a jacket and just run through it. It won't actually, it'll, it'll, it'll be very hot. It might burn a little, 
but you won't, it won't be scorching that you can't actually walk through it just like that. It'll work. If he's wearing a leather, if that's a, if that's a real leather jacket, it'll work. If that's a fake leather jacket, because he's like fooling everyone, then that motherfucker deserves to get burned. It's like, how dare you? How dare you to deceive us by wearing a beautiful leather jacket that's not really leather? It is pleather. And some people are like saying pleather's better. No, it's not. Pleather's pla it's plastic. It's not real. <laughs> what was that movie? Um, Employee of the Month. Is sweet. Is it leather? Oh no, that's pleather. Way better. It won't fade or crack with age. It'll stay the same all year round. Um, pleather does crack. It does. Hang on, Leon. He's got, I was like, I got supplies. Well, it's about time. I never knew uh, be dying be so noisy. <laughs> this will ease the pain. Hold still. Uh, uh, where? Where am I? You're safe. You said something uh, before about the planes. Can you tell me what you know? I got uh, an emergency radio transmission from the member of the team, from our team, who was hold, um, hold up in the eastern part of duty. Uh, the signal was... Bad, but we were able to make out part of it. He said that the call had uh, inter intercepted from the pilot. He said that it was being overrun by the infected. The radio cuts off uh, before we could f uh, find out more. Hmm. Looks like that we need to get duty free. Uh, do you know how to get out of here? You need to take the civvy way. I don't even know. Uh, through the security. Carl, hiss. Carl, kiss. My radio. My team. <laughs> You're in no condition to go. Leon, no! I'll go. Again! I'm on my way. Keep this place in lockdown. Hot again. I have to go. What's going on, Leon? Not 100% sure. The soldier we saved said something about the plane loaded with the infected. I have a bad feeling about this, Hunnigan. What about the survivors? They're fine. Locked away safely in the VIP room. I'll be in touch soon. Leon out. Chapter 4 cleared. And as I was saying, pleather does fade. And it does crack. With age, but not as fast as leather. But leather, when it's treated right, leather is much stronger and better. I have an awesome possum Terminator leather jacket. Very thick that even a zombie will be like, Ang, ang, ang. It's not gonna work. I also have another leather jacket that's actually looks like it's like Leon's leather jacket from Res Resident Evil 4. All leather, very real, it's really good. I even have another. I even have another leather jacket, but it's an it's a same one, but it's a medium. So it's too small for me, so I'm selling that one on eBay. If you guys want to, you know, take a look, you know, go on my eBay channel and whatever. But whatever. Okay. So next time on the non cooperators, we are going to continue with some more Resident Evil Degeneration. I hope you guys are enjoying this. So we'll see you next time. Where did you come from, Katnado?